the men that have transgressed against me, for their worms shall die not, neither shall their fire be quenched, and they shall be abhorred unto all flesh. Proverb, not Proverbs, I'm looking for. Let's see, it was uh, Romans 11. It says, I say then, going, I'm just going back, I say then, has God cast away his people? God forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not cast away his people which he foreknew. Which he not that the scripture says of Elias, how he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what says the answer to God in him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men who have not bowed their knee to, to the image of Baal. Even so then, at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And if by grace there is no more works, otherwise grace is no more grace. But if it be works, then there is no more grace. Otherwise work is, is no more work. What then? Israel has no more. What then? Israel has obtained that which, which he seeketh for. But the election has a. Uh, what then? Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election have obtained it. And the rest were blinded. Matthews, we see here. All right, let's see. All right, this here. So I can wrap this up. Then I can then go back to Jacob I have loved, Esau I have hated. Psalms 83 and 5. He said, they are confederate against thee. Because we were talking about those people who are hospitable unto him. So when they're confederate against Israel, the Israelites, they confederate against him. That's why they spit him. Because you're fighting against his, his, his chosen people. So you're fighting him. And now they nothing but spittle unto him. You know, okay. Talking about the oppressors from every nation. The tares from every nation. Synagogue of Satan. So, let's see, was there something else I was supposed to say? So, you know, that, so basically it was about trying to balance the word, basically. It was about trying to balance the word. Does the Most High love everybody? No. Does he hate everybody? No. There's only one nation he have known. That's the Israelites. But yet, he, 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 he uh, told the Israelites to go out and gather the people from other nations unto himself. And that was the whole purpose why he allowed us to go to sleep in the first place. That he may allow them to come, have the opportunity to come in because he's a merciful Elohim. Hello. So then now, he's awakened us that we may know ourselves, that we may go and get our brethren, wake them up, and then we would have the uh, we are worshiping in the spirit in spirit and in truth, and then go out and get the rest of the people that's in the nations that he has called, 
So when you're talking to the to the rest of the nations, everybody's not gonna hear you. So don't be frustrated and angry at them. Because everybody's not chosen to hear you. But there are some that will hear you, and those are the ones that are chosen from the other nations. And then are you gonna do all the preaching to all the rest of the nations? Uh well, you're gonna do your job. But then I believe he this is just me saying by permission, not by command. I believe he's going to, once you tell the, these other nations the truth, even those who are calling themselves preaching right now, they don't have the truth, then they'll better go and tell their people the truth. So that's why I'm so thankful. And actually, I'm glad now that he allowed me to be humble enough um, to see where I was at. Through making a mistake out through the video I was telling you. And then maybe he he did that. I don't know. Maybe he was trying to see if I was gonna be too puffed up to, to not to admit that I was wrong. And just keep going roll with it because you know I'm the the anointed man and I'm I don't make mistakes. Nah, nah, that ain't it. It ain't about my word, it's about telling the truth. It's about delivering the truth to the people. Anytime I'm wrong, I'm always, if, I, if I'm if i pointed out, somebody else pointed out, and I verify through the word, I'm going to come and tell the truth about it. I ain't going to sit around and pretend like I'm right if I'm wrong. Because it ain't about what I say. It's about what the Most High say. That's why everything I'm doing, whether it be uh, scriptural, Torah-based, Torah the Word of Most High, whether it be anything I'm doing in my private life concerning how I interact on this uh, lodial soil, I back what I say by the truth. What has been documented as being the truth. From that point, I've done my due diligence. I presented the information to the people that they can judge the truth and to see that my actions are indeed in good faith. Outside of that, I can't go by what, no, no, if people don't give me full disclosure of what they're doing, all I can go by is what they said. So if anybody's trying to do anything underhanded beneath what has been said, I have no uh, way of knowing that. So I can't go by what they're doing. All I can do is go by what they said, what they agreed to. And what, what, uh, the corporation of above them, the people that runs the corporations, what they have agreed to and what they have demanded that they do. So anything out of that is bad faith. So I, I have nothing to do with that. You know, so gang, gang stalking is bad faith. That's why they don't tell the truth. They don't come out and tell you what they're doing. They hide in, in the shadows. Just like... Um, and this is a gang stalking video. Like a lot of times when I make videos, they snap pictures with my own camera. You can't see it, so that's why they do it, because it's, it's a mind trick. Also, when I'm doing things on the computer, you know, the, the little bar underneath your computer that, that shows all the little, uh, what is it called? Labels from the things that you saved on your computer. They'll all disappear like they 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 recording them, copying them, and then they'll place them back. So it's a bunch of underhanded stuff be going on in this gang stalking program. You know, but the scripture says the truth shall be thy shield and buckler. So all I can do is tell the truth. And uh, anything that I've done in error in the past, just like I did today, I make the correction. I tell the truth about it. I repent. I apologize for it. Then I do make the corrections based on what it, what the remedy is. So that means I've done all I can do to be right. That's all you can do. Now the gang stalkers, they, the, the most I hate them because they do those things. The six things does the Lord does he hate?
These six things does the Lord hate, yea, seven are abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises a wicked imagination, feet that be swift to run into mischief, a false witness that speak lies, and he that sows discord among his brothers. My son, keep thy father's commandments and forsake not the law of thy mother. Bind them continually upon thine heart and tie them about thy neck. When thy goest, it shall lead thee, and when thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. And when thou awakest, it shall talk with thee, for the commandment is a lamp, and, and the law is light. Hmm. It says, the law is light. So if the law is light, and then they have something they created called the color of law, that is in violation of the light. First of all, the, the true light, the law of the Most Highest, and then the law of the land, it's even in violation of that. So the Most High can't support that, if not according to this scripture, because he hated it. For the commandment is a lamp, and the, and the law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the ways of life. So, Shalom, and I'll be sharing another video with you soon.